a lot of times when people think of the, of the zoo, they think of the bigger animals out in the zoo. They don't necessarily think of the science that goes on here. They don't necessarily think of the hands-on investigations that we do in our programs and our classes. And then That's there's really, the crystal. The scanning electron microscope is actually on loan to us um, as part of an initiative from the Greater Cincinnati STEM Collaborative. The goal is to get uh, kindergarten through 12th grade kids hands on this technology and the hope is by getting kids to get hands on with this that they'll discover things, they'll become inquisitive about stuff that you can't just see and look closer at their world and look closer at themselves as scientists and maybe imagine themselves in a career or in a laboratory or using equipment like this later in life. Good job! Ooh. Kids are natural scientists, so it harnesses that and helps them to get their hands on something they maybe wouldn't otherwise. They're pushing the buttons. They're coming up. They're looking around and watching their faces when they look at something. They're like, what is that? They say, I don't know. Do you want to? Can I look closer? Absolutely. Let's look closer. And then we're helping them through that process, but they're discovering it. And you can see not only the wonder, but that they want to know more. They're seeking knowledge, that they're finding worlds that they never knew existed on that microscopic level. And their eyes light up, they're clicking around in the computer and they are navigating their way through this. They're looking at a butterfly's wing in a way that they've never looked at it before. And they said, I want to know more. And that's just, it's magical. It's it's magical. I don't, it makes me excited. That wonder, that's not something that you can manufacture. That's just natural. And kids are so great at bringing that. It's amazing. I mean, I, to see her just go up there and just interact with it and the people and work with it, something that we could never give her. It's an amazing experience. Very interesting. They've interacted with it all day for the last two days like, and made some great discoveries. Like and as you can see, it's still working, it's still running and there's absolutely nothing wrong with giving kids access to science in this way. It's a universal thing that nature is exciting and brings people together. And to have a kid's imagination sparked by something that they can go out their door and see, they don't have to travel somewhere special, they don't have to go anywhere unique, it doesn't cost money to go out and flip over a rock and look a little closer at something. And to find magic and wonder in their own backyard is a skill that any kid can learn and develop if they're just given the right guidance and opportunity. And I think that's one of the things that this microscope does. Whatever it takes to have them starting to think about things a little differently and look at things differently and then make that connection and think of themselves as scientists and investigators and observers and use that language, it's just, it's so important because they are, we're not, it's not tokenism, they really are scientific investigators.